Hi everybody, I'm Brandon Henschel. Welcome to another episode of Shirtless Chef, the show where I share with you my favorite recipes that taste so good and will leave you feeling so good, you're gonna wanna take off your shit. So today, we're making uh, ground turkey meatballs, but I'm gonna simmer them in a masaman curry paste. So we got this stuff right here. This is the best curry paste on the planet. And we got kids over. We got lots of kids over, actually. We got like the whole neighborhoods over today. It's a little chaotic, but bear with me because this recipe is amazing. I'm gonna start with the sauce first, and then we're gonna make the meatballs and let the meatballs simmer in the sauce. So first up, we've got um, half a red onion that I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna toss in this pan. So half a red onion, really nicely, finely diced. We want to do a nice dice on those onions. So we're gonna let that cook down for a couple of minutes. Next up, lemongrass. Take your lemongrass and you're gonna cut off the leaves and then cut it in half and just smash it with your knife so it kind of just releases all the oils and we're gonna just throw it right in there. And I like to get the lemongrass open side down so that all the heat hits it and that's going to really release all the flavor. Next up we got two cloves of garlic and just basically a one inch knob of ginger that I did a really fine dice on and we can go ahead and we can throw all that together in at the same time. Boom! Boom! And we're going to give that a stir and we're going to let this cook down for about three to five minutes. And I've got my pan on a medium high heat. You don't want it too high because it's going to burn everything. Okay, so that's looking really good. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw in a quart of chicken stock. We've got some homemade chicken stock. Because that's how we roll. It's about a quart of chicken stock going in there. And at the same time, we're going to throw in a can of coconut cream. I like to use coconut cream because it's thicker and this is already going to be kind of watered down with the stock. So I don't want to use a light coconut milk or just a regular coconut milk. I like the cream. Okay, so we got our stock, we got our coconut milk. I got this on a medium high heat. It's going to start simmering a little bit, but before it does, I'm going to throw in a quarter cup of orange juice. That's going to help brighten and sweeten it up a little bit. We're also going to throw in a quarter cup of Japanese cooking wine. This is Mirin. This is going to make it kind of have a sweet kind of backbone to it because uh, most of these curry pastes have a lot of dried chilies in them. So it definitely has a spice to it. All right, and then we're just going to mix that up. I'm going to go ahead and put this on a high heat because I want this to come to a simmer. And at the end, I'll hit this with some salt and pepper to taste, but first I want to find out how the flavors kind of mix together. Otherwise, when you're using paste like this, it could become too salty. So I always like to wait until the end before I do that. So while that's getting settled, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making our meatballs. I got two pounds of ground turkey in here. I'm going to be feeding about five people, so we might even have some left over. This is the trick to get your meatballs to be like super soft and super velvety. Um, we're not going to roast them. What we're going to do is we're going to let them simmer in the sauce, but you want to take some breadcrumbs and let the breadcrumbs soak in milk. So I've got a cup of breadcrumbs and I don't measure the milk. I just make sure that when I'm pouring the milk over the breadcrumbs, it just covers them. And then as you can see, soaks it all up nice. Lovely, lovely. You're just going to put that in with your meatballs. And that's going to give it a really super soft texture. Okay, I'm gonna hit this with some salt and peppers. So we got our pink Himalayan sea salt. We got our black pepper. And then I'm gonna take this over to the mixing bowl. We're gonna mix it and throw in the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so we got that mixed up. We're gonna add in another like half inch knob of ginger that we finely diced. And we're also gonna add in two more cloves of garlic. And we're gonna start off with one egg and see how it looks because I don't want it to get too, I don't want it to get too wet. I want it to, I want to make sure that it still maintains some shape. So 
So I took our uh, coconut sauce here and I put it down to a low simmer. We're gonna take our curry paste and I'm gonna use half of this can, save the other half for another use. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna add that real quick. So that's gonna be about two ounces of curry paste. And look at that color. Oh, it is so fragrant. It smells so good. There's like kefir lime and galangal and all these cumin and coriander and all these awesome spices. There's our sauce. Now we're gonna start making our meatballs. Let's get a spoon, eyeball it, get your meatball, roll it up. Looks good. Plop it right in. And we're just gonna keep that going. Plop. I'm telling you, once you cook meatballs this way, you'll never just roast them in the oven again. These meatballs just melt. I mean, they're just, they're super soft, they're super delicate. All right, so we got our meatballs in the sauce. Now, I've got my oven already preheated to 400, so I'm gonna cover it. It's important to keep it covered so you lock in all that moisture. Throw it in the oven, 40 minutes, and then we're gonna make some rice. Okay, now most people know how to cook rice. Some people not so much, so I'm gonna give you a fail-proof method of cooking rice. Ratio is always gonna be two to one. So two parts liquid to one part your rice. So in this case, I wanna make uh, two cups of rice. So I'm gonna use four cups of stock. So I got more chicken stock. And we do four cups of stock. That's four. The important thing is to let that get to a boil. So you're gonna let your stock boil, then you're gonna add the rice, turn it to a low and cover it. So we're gonna wait for that to boil. So this is now boiling, we're gonna add our rice and I'm using uh, jasmine broken rice. And if you've never used broken rice before, it's awesome. It cooks faster and it's actually a little bit fluffier than your normal rice. So I really dig it. I like using the broken rice. So two cups of rice going in there. You want to make sure that you now take this, cover it, and put the heat all the way down to a low. And let that go for 30 minutes, and you're done. There you go, guys. Thai meatballs simmered in a mustard and curry sauce. This is so good. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if there's any recipes that you want me to try. And remember, stay shirtless, YouTube.